Let's add some new items to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in Intelligia once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom items to Minecraft with fabric. Now, how is this done? Well, we're going to need a few things for this. Number one, in our tutorial mod package, right click new package called the item package. There you go. And inside of there, we're going to right click again, new Java class called the mod items class. Now this window will appear if you have a GitHub repository associated with your project. If you don't have it, then this is not going to appear. It's totally fine. If you do have it, you just want to click add and then the new class will be added. You can see that it's green. It basically gets added to your GitHub repository and then you can later commit and push it. Now in this mod items class, what do we need? Well, we're going to need two very important things. One of them is a method that is the public static void or register mod items method. This is simply going to say tutorial mod dot logger dot info. We're going to say registering mod items or tutorial mod. Now, one thing is that, well, this is our mod ID and I basically want to, you know, use our mod ID right here. But when you really think about it, it's like, okay, are we ever going to use our mod ID again? Well, actually, we're going to use it a lot of times. So in our tutorial mod class, what I want to do is I want to make a field that is our mod ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a public static final string called mod underscore ID all written in caps. And this is going to be tutorial mod. There you go. And then I can use it in here as well. So in the logger, I'm also going to use mod ID. And then what I can also do in the mod items, instead of using well, just writing it in the string, I can say plus tutorial mod dot mod ID. As you can see, I can auto complete this with tab basically. So all of the suggestions can be auto completed with tab. And this register mod items method is now going to be called in the on initialize method right here. So we don't need the logger here. What we do need is we do need to call mod items dot register items. You can see that it is basically suggested. And if I press the tab key, it auto completes and it will be called. And you can also see that it's called if I go in here that it now has turned yellow. This means that it is basically called somewhere else. Right. And then what we're also going to have is a private static item. So making sure that we choose net Minecraft item right here, double click or press tab again. And this is the register item method with two parameters, a string name and an item called item. So what are we doing here? We have to return an item. How do we do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to return the registry dot register. Once again, autocomplete with tab. And then we're going to say registry dot item. You can see this one with a new identifier from net Minecraft util. Once again, autocomplete with tab. And then we can say tutorial mod dot mod ID comma name. And then after the first parentheses, we're going to do a comma and then pass in the item and then end everything with a semicolon. So this call right here simply registers the item that we're passing in via this method under the following identifier or namespace. So under our name and the name that was passed in. So this is our mod ID and then the name of the item. So how does this look when we actually make a new item? Well, it looks like the following. So we're going to make a new item that is going to be a public static final item called the mithril underscore ingot, which is equal to register item. You can see once again, it suggests this. So press tab to autocomplete. Then we're going to start typing in the string. And you can see that as soon as I put in the quotation marks, this here generates automatically. You do not have to type this out. And we're going to say mithril underscore ingot, comma, and then a new item. Once again, I will autocomplete with tab with some new fabric item settings. You can see I'm already getting those suggested. So we're going to select those and once again, press tab. And on the fabric item settings, this is a builder pattern. And what I can do is I can put in a dot and you can see I can call different well things here. Um, food group, max count, recipe remainder. So a few things that I could call here. What I'm going to call here is the group. So I'm going to select group and once again, press tab for auto completion. And instead of here, I want to call auto item group dot misc. So once again, I selected it or completed with tab and then just ended the line with a semicolon here. And now our mithril ingot is registered. 
So that's actually all that we really need to do for this to be registered. Some of you might say, wait, but we don't have an item texture or we don't have anything like that. That is exactly correct because that we need to define in the resources folder with some JSON files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entirety with this mithril ingot. And then after we've taken a look at this, so basically after we've taken a look at how this looks in game, we're going to add a second item just so that you can see a second example of how to add another item and then i'm basically going to leave you with you know while well, adding a third item as well you can do that on your own time and let's just go through so in the resources folder the json files what does that mean well we can expand this and we can see this assets folder right here what we can do is we can delete the mod id folder and inside of the assets folder right click new directory called tutorial mod this has to be your mod ID. This is very important. Make sure that this is written correctly. Double and triple check that the spelling here is correct. Inside of that tutorial mod directory, right click new directory called lang, L-A-N-G. Also very important. Once again, in the tutorial mod directory, right click new directory called models. This has to be models with an S at the end. Once again, in the tutorial mod directory, right click new directory called textures also textures with an s at the end all of this has to be written exactly like this then in the models directory right click new directory called item and then the same goes in the textures right click new directory called item it's very important that this is, looks exactly like this resources assets your mod id in our case tutorial mod and then exactly like this there isn't anything different here just make sure that all of this is correct and double check it. In the lang directory, we're gonna right click new file called en underscore us.json and then hit enter. And now this file is needed for the translation of our items because what if we were to in enter the game, first of all, of course, let's just leave the fact out that the item doesn't have a texture yet, but it also doesn't have a name because the name is gonna be item.tutorialmod mithril underscore ingot. And we first need to translate this with the en underscore us json file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the curly bracket, a second curly bracket should automatically generate. And what I can then put in here is the quotation marks and then I can say item.tutorialmod.mithril underscore ingot. And then after the second quotation mark, colon, quotation mark, mithril ingot. Now sort of written like you would expect it to have a name. Now, what is, where does this come from? Well, this is an item. This should be fairly self-explanatory. This is our mod ID. Also should be fairly self-explanatory at this point. And mithril ingot is, of course, just the name that we have passed in right here. So this is the name under which we have registered the mithril ingot. And this is basically the translation key. And then this is the translation value. So this is what is being displayed when you hover over it in your inventory. And we will actually have to do this for every item and every block that we add and for some other stuff as well. This is just needed because, of course, there are different languages and Minecraft is also available in different languages. So you can have multiple JSON files in the lang folder and basically support different languages. In the tutorial series, we're just going to work with the en underscore us JSON file, but expanding it is pretty much as simple as just copying the JSON file and then just changing the right side here. That's basically all that there is to it. So that would be the en underscore us json file. Now in the models item folder, what do we have here? Well, we're going to right click new file and this is going to be called the mithril underscore ingot dot json. Now it's important that the name of this file is exactly as this one here and then has a dot json at the end. So that's very important. So when we have this, I'm actually going to type this out once. In the future, we will actually be copying a lot of stuff over like this, especially the JSON files, because they are all very, very similar. And once you understand them once, you really don't need to basically type them out every time. Also, all of this is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists as well. I highly recommend checking those out as well. What is the, well, what's the item model JSON entail here? We're gonna first of all start with once again, curly brackets. And then we're going to put in the parent right here, colon, item slash generated, comma, textures, colon, curly bracket one more time, and then layer zero, colon, tutorial mod, colon, item slash, mithril ingot. Now you might be saying to yourself, what the frick is going on here? No worries at all. Let's think about this. So the parent here simply determines how the item looks in your hand 
when you are looking at well either another player or in third person for example so this is what the parent basically does item generated simply means that you take the item texture and you sort of extrude it a little bit so that it you know has a kind of 3d look to it so nothing too crazy this is just the normal way that every normal item is displayed then we are saying a text we have a textures object here what is this textures well we're basically defining the texture of the mithril ingot with this and the we're setting the layer zero we're just gonna set, sort of say okay this is just layer zero we don't care about necessarily what this means for the time being but we are setting the texture of this to an item texture that's called mithril ingot in the tutorial mod package under textures so what does all of that mean well let's think about this tutorial mod right here assets tutorial mod so we're going to take a look at this right here and because we're looking in the textures folder we're looking in the textures folder for an item folder right here and inside of that item folder there should be a mithril underscore ingot that png file i'm going to copy over the mithril ingot right here so now you can see this is basically the directory structure that we're looking for so in theory you could add multiple things right you can just add anything here if you had another folder in there call this one would work totally fine highly recommend not going too crazy with it sticking to this general idea this general explanation of the item model json file basically pointing to a file with the same name as defined right here in the textures item folder right now all of the textures will also be available to you especially in the github repository basically and what is very important is that you follow the correct license here so all textures are done by starlot so basically they're distributed via this license right here so basically the only thing that you need to do if you are actually using the textures in a public repository just add this credits file to it and then you're going to be totally fine right apart from that we are basically done with adding the texture for this item so we're always going to need for an item a translation an item model json file and an item texture of course so after we have done all of this all of the steps we can now actually see whether or not it has worked all right we find ourselves in minecraft so let's see go to the miscellaneous tab and at the very bottom there it is the mithril ingot has been successfully added to the game and well that's actually how easy it is to add one item so let's see how you can add a second one, right? Because there has been a little bit of confusion in the past. How do you add another item? Do I need an entirely new class? No, of course you don't need an entirely new mod items class. That would be ludicrous. If some of those questions come into your mind, this definitely means that you have to basically take another look at the very basics of Java. I highly recommend taking a look at my java for minecraft and hightail modding series or link it at the top right corner and in the description below as well it's basically a great way to start you know adding some java knowledge because you were definitely going to need especially when we continue with this tutorial series into the advanced stuff and to the like intermediate and advanced stuff you're going to need a lot of java knowledge for certain things like adding block entities you know adding custom mobs stuff like that you're gonna need a solid foundation of java so i highly recommend starting with it now but whatever the case may be let us see how do we add a second item well we have this register item method we don't need a second register item method we can always call this multiple times so the only thing that we need is a new field right here so what i can do is i can select this and press ctrl c and then ctrl v to paste it back in i then just have to change the name of this to nugget so mithril nugget what's very important is that we change the name here as well so this also has to be nugget and then the item is in game now of course we still need a translation so in the en underscore us json file what i just do is i will select this and then make a new line and press ctrl v to paste it in so select press ctrl c ctrl v to paste it in and then here we have the nugget and this is of course called nugget now what do we do with the json file for the well the item model well what i do is i just drag this into the same folder while holding control and this will duplicate it and then i can just rename it to mithril underscore nugget and then i'm just gonna say here nugget as well and then I just need the texture and we're going to copy this over. There you go. And that's it. Now the Mithra Nugget is also in game. And that's actually how easy it is to add a second item. And just for completion's sake, let's also see that. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft. As you can see, the Mithra Nugget also has been successfully added to the game. So that is actually how easy it is to add multiple items to the game. So no worries at all. And what I will leave you with is the raw Mithril 
texture in the GitHub repository so you can basically try out and add that yourself. It is It should be very trivial for you to add a third item now and you should be an expert at this point of adding just these normal items. You know, it's always going to be the same, always a new field here, always going to be the translation, item model and a texture and then you are basically already done. And we are done also because this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like from you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.